Hi, this is Stoney. Welcome to Wingsound.com. Today we're going to be discussing rewiring reason into logic. Logic is going to be the host program and reason will be the slave. And uh, it's simple as watching this video. Today we're going to discuss rewiring reason into logic. As you see, I'm starting off with a stereo audio track in logic. Uh, when you start off this procedure, basically what you're going to do is you're going to open up your host program, which is logic right now and then the secondary program, which would be the slave program, is reason for. Um, the tempo and everything that you have set up in logic, uh, reason will follow the tempo that's in logic accordingly. Um, basically, you have an audio track here, and then you go into reason, and we're gonna go into the back of reason, I'm gonna show you the rack, and it's called hardware device, and it's coming out of left and one and two in stereo. So you go back to logic, it's as simple as going to the mixer page and going to options, creating an auxiliary channel, preferably a stereo one so that you can hear one and two. Once you create your auxiliary channel, I'm going to bring your fader up a little bit here so that you don't peek. You're going to come out of your input and you're going to choose reason. You're going to choose rewire mix left and right. And once you press play, you should be hearing signal coming in through the auxiliary channel. And then you can bring it up, and you can bring it down. And that's how you rewire audio into logic from reason four. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about any production techniques or any videos, please reach me at stony at wingsound.com, the new social video network for audio creatives.